first one, so I don't know what's going to come out good or not. AM 1450 WCEV Radio, where Chicago lands at the voice, the voice of the Utes. That particular Ute, James Todd Smith, LL Cool J. He's in movies too now, and we were just talking about the Karate Kid, the movie, and we're hanging out as Persephone Ross, Princess P, and her mom. Do you still like to be called Queen Mala? Is, are you still living with that? I am. You know, we were, we were talking about a special edition of an online show for the Mala Girls, and so far nobody's been able to come up with, with songs and stuff. Yeah. They're, it's probably all going to be diss songs, but it could be powerful songs, like I Am Woman, Hear Me Roar. could be songs like that. <laughs> Could be many Ripperton songs, loving you. <laughs> ah, Persephone, what should we be talking about now? I mean, the hour's almost over already. We've spent time talking about what you've done lately. Um, next year, or actually two months from now, you're a fifth grader all of a sudden? Yep. Halfway done to grade school. You're only four years away from walking that aisle and getting that diploma. And then moving on to high school, which means that you're like eight years away from graduating high school and then going to college but Go this down there. <laughs> then you then you're gonna have your big cool job and then you'll meet somebody and threaten them and then get married <laughs> but you're gonna be hard to marry off because people are gonna be afraid of you they're gonna remember they're gonna remember your past because it's on Facebook forever uh. when you when you saw that footage did, 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 did you like do a fist pump and say yes or did you feel bad for your opponent uh, your mom did your the your that's a good movie too gone in 30 seconds that's your competition oh well so th y so this year you hit fourth grade and and it was your first and last time in fourth grade which is fortunate because a lot of times people fail and they get held back and they have to repeat grades but the interesting thing was wasn't this the first year at Anderson school that they had like a language academy okay. plus where did you go? I'm in I thought LaSalle was in Anderson. No. So I mean, you they're, they're in the same. That's what I it's meant. It's not even, there's a different building town. And different schools. Well, tell me about that, Sleepy. And different teachers. And so was, was fourth grade any different than your third grade at Anderson, now that yes. you're a fourth grader at LaSalle Institute of Language? Yes, it was very different. Well, tell me. At, at this time last year, you were not looking forward to not being a Anderson student, right? Yes. You're kind of bummed out because th it was a really political situation because kids were getting taken out to go to Pritzker, and then some of you guys got to stay behind, but then they divided the school in half. So all of a sudden, you're, you're like one of the first fourth graders forever and ever. Tell me about your fourth grade experience because you passed on right now. You're a fifth grader. Mm -hmm. Wow, this mm -hmm. is crazy because when you started going to the club, what were you in second grade? That's insane. Well, the question was, tell me about fourth grade. Oh, um, I liked it. Because I, I think one of the last times we had you here was probably like October or so, maybe November, and you were challenged and you said it was a little more difficult. And So how did you handle it all? They expect more of you now, right? As a fourth grader. So, so was it that much more difficult, or, or not? No. What were some of the, what were some of the habits that you changed in terms of studying compared to when you were in third grade? Um, I think I just practiced more. And where did you find time too? Because you guys are always out. When I'm at grandma's house. Ah, yeah, that's your favorite place to be, isn't it? Grandma's hanging the trunk over your head and waiting for you to study, and it's not Coco Paso time? No. Because she knows that you're an award winning karate kid, right? Yeah, but she didn't do that. So now they're bracing you for fifth grade. So, what are you now expecting is going to come out of a fifth grade experience at, at LaSalle? I don't know, because I've seen some of the fifth grade teachers and alternate classes. And What are you judging this on? Do they look at you mean? No, it's just I've heard them talk to the students. They don't talk to the students? I've heard them talk to the students. And you don't like the way they talk to the students? No, like they just sound mean. Well, well maybe they're just stern. Because 
the ones that get all friendly sometimes they take advantage of so so what was the highlight of this past year in terms of your fourth grade experience No bad times, huh? Better than what you expected. Yeah. See that? And you thought things were going to be bad. Well, there you go. And now you're heading to fifth grade. I had Mr. Malujos for fifth grade at Talcott School. Mr. Malujos used to actually hit the kids and get away with it because this was back in the middle 70s where it wasn't frowned upon. And he would yell. But one time he got really mad at kids getting up to sharpen their pencils, so he kicked the sharpener out the third floor window, and there was paint on the windowsill, and somebody went into the office all covered in paint. So Mr. Malujos got in trouble. Then there was a time that Joshua Costa tied his shoelaces together when we were in the reading circle, and Mr. Malujos got up, he tripped. Who did that? And then we're all quiet, and Joshua's laughing, so he started biffing Joshua really hard on the head, and Joshua was just laughing. <laughs> Mr. Malujos, he's really old now we could probably hit them back and get away with it. But it's it's different now. How do teachers get results now? Back then, teachers, private school teachers, theoretically, were the ones that were really, you know, you'd had to be afraid of because supposedly they had the rulers and they could hit you and do whatever. How do teachers get results now if they can't necessarily threaten you? How does your teacher get results? Like she punishes us, she says no recess. Oh, no. So no, she didn't really get mad. So, but, but you didn't but give a reason. But she just scream. But you're all, but you were all bright students, right? So what would yeah, she, what would she be mad like about? Yeah, some bad kids. But no bad kids. <laughs> now, now, mom, you, you, you also had. I don't want to know if it was apprehensions or not when you guys were going to go from the regular school to the language academy. But did it meet the expectations, or was it better than what you thought it was going to be? It was a lot were you, were you afraid that when all this change was happening? I did. I was. Was. So in hindsight, it was a good move for, for, for most of the kids involved. Now, how many of the kids that, that you grew up with ended up at Pritzker when all this happened? Did you talk to any of them to see how things were different at Pritzker? Uh, did any of them? None of them. Did any of them that stayed in Anderson have any words for you to say, man, I wish I was with you at, at the academy? Yeah. yeah. You know, what was their experience at Anderson like? Bad in terms of behavior? No, like bad because like they're still trying to close it and they're firing a lot of the teachers. Yeah, well, well, that's true. That's true. And now the class sizes might be bigger next year too because yeah. of a money situation. How many kids were you in, in your class this time? Thirty. And how? And if it's going to be thirty-five this coming year, how do you think you'd react to that? No matter, because you're all yeah. brilliant and bright, right? Yeah. Well, we can take our sixty-second breaky sequel. When we return, more Clinton's radio, and then um, I guess you could decide what we're going to do, because we can go with the Famous People Report, we can go with views on the news, we can do all kinds of stuff. Okay. So we shall return, and if you wanted to say hi to your precious little sunshine, kick face girl, 773-777-1450, and uh, we'll say hi to Pete.